for the set. They're going to be locking in the Rafalia, followed up by the Kagura, Lilia. Come on, they got to make oh, a choice here. Oh, it should be Lilia, uh, and that's our sense. So I, I think that at least that Lilia. gives them a little bit of safety net. Same goes Your to the cloth, uh, with picking. a little bit more mobility. Uh, and that's our sense as well. So Rafaela is going to be providing a lot of sustainability to this uh, entire kit. Well, you know, Masha is already so hard to kill. Imagine <laughs> you just keep killing the Masha in the team fight, which makes it even worse. So uh, even if you go for that split push, it's possible as well for the side of Onyx PH. Now, for the side of e e Dio's fault, one final pick here. We mentioned about another tank going in, so uh, maybe they might just uh, get that little bit in that sense. I mean, it's just oh. even more reason, Selena. but they're going to be locking in the Selena here. This is going to be a very bloody game indeed. Dio's Vault wants to play for wants to play for a lot of kills. They're going to hit that level two, roam around the map, and maybe look for potential Whoa. picks. Hopefully, punishing the Masha because we know that Lilia and Grok level one are basically unstoppable for the most part. Yeah, and uh, double uh, mage setup coming in for the side of Dio's Vault is definitely really interesting to watch and two assassins in that sort of sense as well yeah so i'm really looking forward to see where or not can little happy land those clutch abyssal arrows and well uh back in the day so uh, we see selena being a heavy favorite for most of these uh teams a couple of seasons ago uh now i'm really glad that this vault is bringing it back yeah and i'm excited to see how they're gonna play this out because this game uh both sides, I'm expecting a lot of bloodshed. I think that's uh, hands down what you should be expecting this game as well if you are the viewer. Moving towards the mid game is kind of interesting because, again, it revolves around taking these 50-50s where it's a chance where you could lose out the trade even in just a 4v4, 3v3, even a 5v5. You're not entirely sure unless you have a very clear advantage. And I think somebody has to take that risk and hopefully execute upon it to maybe get a small lead. Speaking of taking risks, I think that... This build is definitely no strangers of doing that, and we see them always going in for those really aggressive invades, which sometimes, when they make that slightest of mistake, that will punish them back. So it's really yeah. uh, down to execution on how Onyx PH do juggle that sort of aggression. And now heading into it, the series here, we're looking into it. Game one, Onyx PH versus Deuce Vault Esports team. Now that you mentioned it, you do bring up a very good point about how both compositions are pretty mechanical because, again, it's not easy to land uh, land the abilities coming in uh, from Lilia. You kind of usually have, like, you know, a Kaya, uh, sorry, a Kaja or a Cho, something with some hard lockdown to, so you don't really have to aim it too much because there is a good possibility you could miss it. Ooh, Sunset nearly losing his Viraga armor, and it's only been level one. They're not going to go with traditional lanes here. Let's see how they play this out. Well, for start uh, this vault is going to be uh, making sure that they secure those buffs in hand. So that's going to be Natal diving all the way back. Zika is getting caught out. Two versus one and greed. Well, what can I say? Greed is definitely good as the Lark gets first blood Ooh. for Onyx PH. I mean, she did get to steal the buff, but instead dies in response. And now QP is just stuck by himself in lane. Greedy play coming in from Natalia and was very close to actually profit profiting off of it. However, she's just too low. And again, level one, you don't mess. You just don't mess with the Grok as well as the Lilia. You will get chunked out. Well, I'm not too sure whether if the buff is anything worth that sort of depth, that sort of sense. But looking into oh. this early game, that's going to be Abyssal Out landing. And oh, that almost was a steal. But Dilar is going to run off and eventually taken off by Sawa. And what did I tell you? Bloodbath already. Both sides just going back and forth, making sure they know who's boss. Oh, yes. And look at Sunset, though. Of course, 2v1 feeling way better than the top side. <laughs> where, oh, <laughs> uh, you know. They're struggling there. <laughs> I, I just don't feel like some of all these sort of. Uh, Tension in the early game is well worth it. But speaking of that, Zika once again on the Natalia is just uh -oh. having not so much of that sort of exit point. She's and stuck. now that's a free kill. She's stuck. She thought <laughs> she could go through the top side. It looked like there was a little bit of a gap there. But again, that Guardian's Barrier can be deceiving. Well, Guardian's Barrier is definitely that one spell that usually will be pulled yeah. out uh, in that jungle to actually uh, get so much of that passage being uh, covered up. And now, from the side of this vault, they're up to something here to actually catch out Green. Yeah, Law and Order being popped already by Lil Happy. But again, Power of Nature doesn't allow him to get stunned. He walks through, sees all three members, and the rest of the team back off, trying to contest for mid priority here. Lil Happy taking quite a bit of damage. Ooh, he's getting chucked out. Whoa. He's forced to pop the Revitalize. 
Oh, there we go. Kofi immediately forces out all these skills. And wow, Lilia did not expect the damage output. And now 2-2 two, two each. Still pretty much drawn out. But Zika on a 1v1 against Dillar. I uh, don't really think that's going to be great here. Greed is already Ooh. dropping low. And here goes. First turtle being attempted by Deuce Ball. Yeah, Wise wasn't expecting to get stunned but for so long from Lula Happy. That law and order was important, but the back line is in trouble Lark. now as Zika is trying to look for a catch onto Greed. He could try and turn this, but he can't. Actually, he been dis he has been disarmed. He is just hiding in that smoke screen, trying to stay immune. He dashes right on out of there, and the rest of Deuce Ball pick up the kill onto Masha. Deuce Ball's steps were a little bit more clear cut and concise. And I'm not too sure, Onyx PH, they were already low, and they still want to actually give it a go. And now, of course, advantage given over the side of Deuce Vault. Of course, uh, items are slowly stacking up here. Looking at the Lunox, possibly going for concentrated energy in a little bit more. Looks like the wet, not really hitting all too much. Three members down over the bottom side for Onyx PH here, securing the River Crab. Yeah, they're gonna peel back here, take away the River Crab, build their economy ever so slowly. But again, Deuce Vault, even though they have one kill ahead of Onyx PH, they still need to farm. They're not like super far ahead, they're just only slightly. But it's three minutes into the game, that 1k isn't gonna matter too much. The levels are about even. Oh, Ooh. getting chucked out here. The crit is a little too much. He pops the smoke screen later, so he protects himself from the disarm. Nicely played. Whoa, great backup coming from Delara as well. If he was there, uh, of course, like the rest of the members that were there a little bit earlier, then it might just be a turnaround of events where Zika could get just got caught out. But oh. here comes Greek coming from the back as well, going in with the wall charge, and there it goes. Four members on the top side here to put him down. Yeah, but I don't think they have enough time because the minion wave is being pushed all the way down. I think they can put some damage into that tier two. Uh, for the rest of the deal's fault, they break that tier one and now are rotating towards the mid side. The gold differentials from both of them slowly increase. You can see how focused they are in tiers taking the bottom side. And there it goes. Oh, oh that was really, really dirty <laughs> as we see LY Canoe. It's just running that one off. Now, it's going to be Greed just uh, pushing some of all these members back, and they do secure Turtle the tower over the bottom side for Deuce Ball. Yeah, they're just holding their ground, looking for someone to maybe get a pick with the Abyssal Arrows here. Zika just doing his best, and he's doing a pretty good job keeping uh, uh, Delar in check. Now, Turtle is under contention here. The rest of the team holding their ground. Viraga armor is up for Sunset. He could look to turn this around with the last insanity, but he's going to secure, help secure that turtle with no issues whatsoever. They've already lost a lot of all that pressure towards the river, so there's no way that Onyx uh, knows uh, how to actually get anywhere uh, nearby, and it's really not worth it to even uh, try to actually secure that turtle in that sort of sense. And it's having cleared out. Little Happy dropping really low, but they do have the Righteous Path with alongside with the Rejuvenate to keep himself alive, but there's no point in staying there. Oh, one more hit will be able to do the trick, but Onyx Page will let him lose. You mean revitalize, but yeah, he yeah. does make it out with one HP at the very end of it. A lot of damage coming through, even a Holy Baptism by Oh My Venus, but he's trying to his best. Oh, Sunset, he blows right in front of him. Oh. He's trying to pull it through. Claude's in trouble. A little bit of health uh -huh. just done. Battle Mirror Image, he turns it around. The Revitalizer's been dropped in the heel, but the Darkening coming out of QP is going to be too much as he takes one out. The Chaos Assault is too deadly, but again, Claude, he still is able to hold on. Picks up a kill onto Lunox and Sunset. Bails out of there. He don't want no part. Zeka, he has to pull back. One more oh. hit. Ooh. Shadow Shock Wave already locks him down. Wise is just landing these abilities one after the other. Wow, look at Wise though. Still getting chunked out by Sawo. Sawo's trying to actually assassinate her, but it's too much of a deal here with Reed being up in the front lines. I just love this back and forth from both ends here. And right down below, we look at Onyx uh, PH. They were really in that great position. Three versus two, but a little bit of a misstep here causing one of their lives uh, to fall. Now, Vivu just uh, gonna be holding on to the millet for the time <laughs> being. And well, that's just gonna be a little bit of that back and forth going on and the next hurdles coming up online. Yeah, and just well, just losing a little bit of their lead now. Onyx the age is slowly coming back into this game. Again, 1k goal lead, not too much. Battle mirror image coming in for the Claude. He doesn't want to get caught out. Ooh. Abyssal Arrow, of course, flying true, soon. but that's one Grok that <laughs> is pretty well tanky, already level eight and Venus just soaking a little bit of that stun, a little bit of that sort of defense going on for Masha over the top side as well. 
Well, Sunset's just going to be slowly farming up, and here it goes. Corona Tree in the hands of Onyx PA. Chael, as all this time, Turtle is still the contested point for both of these teams, but Deuce Vault is forced to walk backwards. Sunset going to try and turn this around. Last Insanity, he's going to break his armor to kind of make some space. The rest of the team is there to support him. Law and Order lands onto the Grok. Grok, full gauge coming in from that Faraga. Damage, but now, Lil Happy, he's holding his ground. Comes pops, quickly. he pops down the Glorious Pathway. He wants to catch somebody off. Grind Greed is walking away through the tri brush. He's going to be safe. Dodges the Abyssal Arrow, but the back oh, line is in trouble. Twice. Quad, he's in trouble. They dropped the Revitalize, and the rest of the team is still pulling on through. They are not winning this QP. Goes down next. A double kill for the Quad. Great comeback coming in from the side of Onyx PH as we're looking at them chasing all the way and breaking down the first turn off the bottom side. And now there's also a great wave hitting towards the top. But Zika is trying to deal with this situation as well. But wow. Look like we saw Wise coming in a little bit late, but just on time to actually burst down Koopy in that sense. Yeah, I mean, great plays coming in from the Claude. He's just kind of dancing around them, kind of beating out stuff from the enemy team. And now Deus Vault, they're kind of just biting on these, uh, biting on the bait every single time. Yeah, and like uh, if they just kept getting baited, sure, this will be really costly. And Sunset now purchasing the Immortality is just going to give him a little bit more breathing room for him to go in for better dives. And speaking of the dive here, he's being all the way up in the front lines here, knowing that he has this very rare armor. It should be any sort of a hassle to actually get a couple of all these sort of charges. And here comes a lot more stacks coming in the way. Last Insanity being popped. And now he's getting stuck by the barrier. And Zika's just going to engage, looking for a level like a new. And now it's going to be a full on full fight with Rafael killing getting one spree. killing spree for the plot as well. Could be too much off position, <laughs> but takes down the Masha. And Grit's just gonna give chase Lord for a little bit more. Soon. Three members versus one. Koopy could not possibly turn this one around. But oh, look at how kill. tanky and how much sustain that's in this Lunox. Yeah, and she's holding his ground. Old Sunset trying to turn around. Last Insanity popped already. Is he gonna survive? No way. No way. Wise says, nah, 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 nah. You're going down, my friend. Oh my. Wise with the loads of damage. But this is what I really love about Lilia. Like, sometimes you just do not know how much she can deal and the later the game goes the stronger she gets mm -hmm. yep oh boy this is becoming a more and more difficult game for this fault now giving up a 5k and a 5k gold deficit against Onyx, and we can see that their team composition kind of thrives off of this lead like Delar, he's got so much damage. He's already got the Demon Hunter Sword. Very close to getting hit, uh, a Golden Staff, and I think he might already have it by now. Yeah, he should be able to actually have it. And then goes Lord number one in the hands of Onyx BH as well. And <laughs> none of these members from the side of Deuce Vault could even find the likes of the Claude. And he's already 4-0 and up with Sunset now already trying to start something up just to clear off the wave. And Greed is just trying to uh, block the exit points oh, for the time. Oh, damage! Whoa. My god! They pulled back. I mean, Weiss nearly got oh, no. caught out there with the Black Shoes. Now, Greed is taking a little bit too much here. He gets stunned by the Abyssal Arrow, but he's going to be A-OK. -okay. Zika can't find an angle to get into that back line. Weiss, he's without the Black Shoes. He is vulnerable, but the rest of his team is protecting him. Well, uh, I, I guess that's some great protection. But looking at Sao uh -oh. here, getting chunked out. Here goes the Blazing the Web. Immediately flickering in towards the battle. And Shut instead, down. this will be the first step for the Claude. A little bit of a late response coming in from the rest of Onyx BH. As we see oh, a kill. big blow towards QP as he will fall. That's going to be a one for one for now. But they open up the mid lane tower with a great push. And of course, with the Lord marching in from the top side, which means Wall Charge will be able to connect. And now, members of Deuce Fall in pieces. And this might just be game for Onyx PH if they can escort the Lord into the base. Yeah, and Lord still isn't all. Finally, it gets broken by the Lord. And the Lord is still probably going to keep walking on. The rest of the team should have taken it out by now, but they've lost so much at this point. Sawa is just going to keep on running as far as he can, and Onyx Green, he's not letting him go. Well, that's definitely a really tricky situation. But look at Wise, freely roaming around, and there, finally, we get that kill over on to uh, one of these members here, but oh, there we go. Oh, oh that was nasty. Great kill. <laughs> Both sides were like, no, I'm going to bring you down with me. Look at them, they're just fighting all the way to the end. Sunset's gonna be the next one on the chopping block with the wall charge being landed. There goes the la mega kill for the rock and greed. 
still has the immortality, so he can play as he please. Yeah, and Claude already responding. He's making his way using the Battle Mirror image to kind of shorten the time he takes to get to the base here. But Dio's Ball, one more second until Sunil comes back out. Glorious Pathway already popped out. They're just holding their ground. 4v3. Let's see how this is around. Unstoppable. Zika is gone down, and the Crystal is trying to be broken in as they beef up their KDA. Dang, they've got a great scaling Your composition. That's picking. right, and with that Vadang coming in, they will be able to Dyroth. shed some of all the shields that is uh, coming out of that Esmeralda. Now, Dyroth is one pick that definitely is uh, off the radar. Uh, yesterday, it was being brought in by one of the teams, and this is going to be the very final pick for Onyx PH, so they could definitely go for that 1v1 fight once more. Agreed. And I think with Dyroth, especially when you put him in that offlane, uh, arguably everybody could be in the offlane at this point. Let's <laughs> see how. True. Let, I'm going to give it the benefit of the doubt that Dyroth is going to be in that offlane, okay? That, that, to me, that's like one certainty that I can be confident about until I'm proven wrong otherwise. <laughs> Just going to, you know, put that there, disclaimer. But yeah, I think Dyroth, when he comes against Badang, Badang can't really do too much. He still has to play the lane relatively safe. And even if he does get locked up by the Fist Crack into Fist... Uh, sorry, Fist, fist break, break into Fist Crack, mm -hmm. Dyroth just has the Abyssal Step to kind of hop over the wall and be like, okay, thanks, bye. I don't want to be a part of this anymore. <laughs> yeah, like, uh, you have so many safety nets. If he takes a Flicker as well, then, yeah. Like, even better, yeah. Even better. Like, you could just uh, go in and out of that sort of uh, uh, skirmish. But uh, the Badang pick is definitely one to look out for because uh, he definitely has enough... Uh, sort of the tankiness in that sort of way that it's pretty much natural and you get built uh, pretty much like a uh, things like some people like to put in like demon hunter sword or something just to add into some of the on hit effects as Bit well. Bit more kick. Yeah, that's just, well speaking of kick here, Chow's definitely one uh, pretty uh, mm -hmm. often picked that we saw true, but true. heading into it's this sort of matchup here. Uh, let's see which Smash one of these them. guys will be Landing the All first blow deployed. for that first blood. Agreed. And speaking of Chow, you know, it, it's surprising that overall the competition, there hasn't been such a major priority of Chow. Ooh, my Venus is taking quite a bit of damage here. The Grok Kimmy is ex exceptionally good, especially at level one, because you basically, you have the range and you've got like a butt ton of damage from the Grok based off his base damage. It's like, what can you really do? Yeah, there's nothing much that you could possibly uh, do when he just goes in, just clears off the wave with just one swing. And now, Blur with that 1v1, yep, you're pretty much correct. It's just gonna be Woo! him doing all the soloing stuff. But look at the top side though, a little happy as well as Sunset. Well, I. <laughs> I just love the positivity in both of these duos' uh, name itself. They're gonna be able to steal that. Wait, <laughs> I'll take that back. Yeah, but they still both they still two camps. But on the other side, Onik is trying to make it happen. Zika taking quite a bit of damage here, forcing out the flicker from the Dyroth. And now they're trying to turn this around. Sword Spike and Shadow Blade Slaughter has been popped. He's gonna hit level four first. So Dio Vault has to kind of back away. They don't want the opportunity uh, to set up wise for a major double kill. But they're looking for a dive already. Greeks just gonna go in for that sort of tank. And wow, that burst coming from Delar. That was some immense damage output coming from Onyx PA. That was a pretty good react. That was a pretty good reaction time. He got it just as Wise was a was taking the sword spike, and everybody was coming in, catching three members. Let's look at that one more time. This uh, fist break, uh, creating that wall to force out the flicker from the die roll. Yeah, at least he did pull out one of the spells right outside. So if they were to go in for a one v one again, then Turtle that will be a little bit more soon. commitment being put in. So. For the side of Venus, still managing to actually hold on alongside with Esmeralda over the top side here. And now there will be a little bit of a contest on the turtle, but if it's a contest for you guys to redeem this code right down below because it's only going to appear every once in a while. This might just be the last one. And there we go. A little like a new, just dealing a little bit of damage, bringing a little happy to 50%. Yep. Now, close is clear with Wise oh. coming from the back as well. Is he not going to take the sword spike? Oh, yes, he does. Oh, he pulls it go. back. <gasps> oh, but it buys enough time for the battle mirror image. Good timing coming in from Deus Vault. Like, here that comes Vito. Oh, last insanity. Oh, he flickers for Greed. He wants to pick something up here. Again, Fire Stones. A uh, Fire Stick is going to be pulled out. Oh, no. One more hit. If he goes down, but he quickly flickers out of the way. Oh, my Venus is trying to hold on still, but he gets the empowered Fireball. Actually, is so close to keeping uh, to clipping. Sawo. Yeah, just a couple of inches away to land over on Sawo, but over the bottom side, let's focus our attention onto Zika. He's right now 
hiding behind the turret range, and Delar hoping to actually connect some of the shots. Oh! oh! Shots being fired, and Delar secures that kill. I didn't expect it to reach all the way to the end. I thought it was just like a little sharp, but it was just enough distance, and he gets punished for it. And now Onik going to keep on their onslaught as they continue to clear up Turtle. While we're holding the position of Turtle to hopefully bait a fight, but again, you can see Delar no control over the bottom lane anymore with Grok and Kimmy coming in. Here we go with L.I. Kanu initiating the fight with a falling star wound, and here we have one more kill happening off screen as well over the bottom side, and Turtle going over the side of Onyx PH. Three kills to one, and Greed going in with a lot of, of tension here. Last inside of being popped, and he will flicker just to secure the kill, but instead, <gasps> it was only one dot of health left, and they will walk away. Ah, uh, he should have committed to that. He should have committed to it. He had to heal as well. He might have been able to survive or at least trade. Ooh. Well, well, I mean, he hops over the wall. I'm surprised he actually made it. Like, I thought he was going to get clipped at the end, but the very end here, Fist Crack Ooh. doesn't get to kill Wise just yet. He doesn't have enough damage, but Wise happily just throws the Shadow Blade Slaughter into Sword Spike and just takes a full combo into the face. I just love how he's playing this Gushin with so much flair. He could easily just move in and out as he pleased. Now, it's still, of course, going to be LY4 here, just slowly holding onto his top side. And I, I would say this vault here is losing that sort of early game pressure that they are very well known for. Yeah, and again, like, what can they do at this point? They have to kind of play from backwards. Oh, is he going to steal the buff? No, he does not. Zika holds still, but Why he's so? going to take a full combination. So, oh, with the last insanity as well. He dashes right on out of there to hopefully catch it off. Green with the last insanity, but instead, Ooh. he dies instead. Can, real talk, can we get a JoJo Bizarre Adventure skin for Madan. Someday. Someday like that, they that, will. That's a million dollar idea right there. <laughs> Mutun, right there, million dollar idea for a skin. <laughs> oh, maybe it's after that M1, we might just get one extra skin. Sawo running off with a wall charge, and that will be finally the Lara getting shut down as well, Venus trying to run for his life, and there will be uh, blood as we see all three members covering the tracks. Venus being forced to use the flicker, but to no avail, he will not escape. Yep, and those vaults slowly catching up back up into this game for what used to be a 4K uh, goal lead has now become at least a 3K goal lead. Now, so let's just bring in the charge for a little bit. And I just like how they have so much of all these uh, flickers on the side of Onyx VH if they were ever to be caught in that situation. You talk about Badang opening a wrist crack. It wouldn't really matter all too much. That's yeah. going to be the turtle in the hands of Onyx VH without any sort of casualties at all. So far, I mean, Badang, he needs the scale. Same thing as Sunset. Sunset already has a Demon Hunter sword. The same goes with Zika here. However, they need that Golden Snap before they really have, have that, <laughs> have that, that pop, that pop. Yep, speaking of a pop here, Wise is going to get popped instead. He's hopping right back, hoping that Venus will be able oh, to save him. Whoa, no. that flicker though. No. That's not enough. Oh man, at least the passive from Rafaelia would have secured the kill anyway. But you know, this fault they trade one for two here. It's still pretty in their favor. I'm not gonna lie, but the rest of the team is fully pulling back. Reed playing with fire. Uh, I like his character. Oh, the Firaga <laughs> armor does break off very quickly, giving him a lot of distance. However, Zika, he's not case. done just yet. He wants him. Pigong Fist already in, but the gauge is full and the slow is a little too much. Where Reed are you running, my boy? Dance around them. Another <laughs> kill being handed over to Sunset. And here you go. Oh, well, niche. I think by that point, Greed was just trolling around. Like He could have just run up towards that uh, Lord Pit in that sort of sense. But instead, he goes in for a wraparound in between the towers. What was he thinking? But look at the top side, though. I like the new also drawing in a lot of tension. But this is well worth it because they are opening up the mid lane tower. Yeah, and now two members have been given over to Dio's fault. The, the goal lead still maintaining at three. The only problem is that Dio's Fault hasn't been able to find a way to really punish Onyx. Like, yes, you are getting these picks. Yes, certain members are slowly getting ahead. But in the end of the day, you need to get those objectives. They finally break that top tier one, and the pause has been called. Well, I'm not too sure what exactly was going on. Perhaps a little bit of a spike. Uh, and, of course, playing around with fire right there. Greed. I was complimenting him a whole lot in game one because he played an exceptional Grok. Yeah. And now... <laughs> 
it's as if he was playing like a rock this time on an export. <laughs> like, he forgot that he was. <laughs> he forgot that he was export. He was just running around. It's like, oh wait, no, I'm not Grok this time. <laughs> yeah, like he popped a Fiorga armor and then like uh, he he still rotated around. Maybe he just wanted to actually cut across towards the other side of the jungle. <laughs> but every one of these members from the side of the dude was still well and alive, so it's easy to actually walk across, catch him out, and even the players. Yeah, maybe they just heard what I just said and they just laugh upon it. Yeah, they're just, they're just having the time of their life. I think for the most part uh teams need uh the both teams ha have come to realize like this is going to be a fun game let's actually have as much fun as we can possibly get they're gonna have i, I don't know how, how the kda is gonna look like at the end of the day but it'll be funny to see it you know like it'll be a legendary match if they could just make like a uh, 50 kills each oh on God. each side <laughs> breaking that 100 kill mark so <laughs> extend it as you will we'll be here to cast the entirety of the match oh boy. but yeah I, I guess like it'll be definitely funny but Pro players, they still have that integrity, of course, uh, <laughs> just to play through their hearts and just close out the game whenever you will. So, um, if we'll if see, we'll, we'll see. Once Lord starts spawning, I think that's when it's going to be like, okay, okay, let's let, let's let's just wrap this up here. We're going to have to contest for it. And again, all these leads is building up to this Lord. Well, speaking of the Lord here, of course, uh, we're not going to be seeing it all too soon. It's only seven minutes into play. Well, Tur Turtle, though, will be coming up online in less than 10 seconds with Dilar still going on for that sort Turtle of solo lane over in the soon. bottom lane. And they'll get on the cure. They don't really have much camps being left, so yeah. perhaps they need to play a little bit more proactively. Maximum charge not landing onto anything at all. Well, there's a little bit of pressure coming in from QP, and here it goes. A little oh. happy, getting stunned up. He's gonna get hit by that last insanity game. Pop instantaneously. The passive coming in, but Sunset already with the golden snap coming in with a blazing duet, forcing out my Venus to back away. Pretty good chunk out, but still no profit. Well, uh, speaking of profit, there they almost get a little bit more profit over onto Greed and for Zika as well as QP here. They're pretty much uh, very far over the back line here to even deal chunks of damage towards the side on a key age. And although the graph here tells you that seven kills are on the side of Deuce Fall as well as on a PH with eight, but the goal is definitely favoring the side of Onik for now because they that did manage to secure a whole lot more of that sort of objective. And look at Sao though getting oh, chunked out. The beauty of Gushin is that he chunks out Rock like a lot. It's very difficult to kind of face check when you have someone like uh, Gushin on your side. But Esmeralda just bought her Holy Crystal. She's going to be really difficult. Again, a lot of these big boy items coming into the game already. Let's see how they play this out. Ooh, wise getting a good hit. But yeah, I don't think he is going to focus on forward. Blazing Duet being popped by well, Sunset. Same goes to the last insanity as well. Killing spree for the plot as you speak of it. The Lara will be the next one to fall. And now, will they actually chase on the Greed? Well, you, you know what to say, Greed is good, but you cannot actually uh, go with those over aggressions from time to time. Oh, like a new gets one free tower while Wise waits for a little happy to pass by. There goes oh. the plate, calling all the way in. And Sawos is gonna hit him right from the back. And wow, mega kill going in for Koopi. Sawa just made him a stagnant corner, but, Lever, but Esmeralda is going to chase him down. The Pirate Age is going to run out, and now he's in yeah. trouble. He goes down instantaneously. Zika trying Ooh. to make out with a fist crack and fist break. He's locked in. He can't get out. He needs to break free. He goes down. Finally, they're trading kill for kill. Let's see a little bit more of that fight coming from Koopi. Just trying to give him Ooh, a little bit of a back massage soon. around the, the Esmeralda. Then that's one free buff up for grabs for Greed. Well, this is the beauty of uh, playing the x Once you have that immortality, you are somewhat unkillable in that sort of sense, especially when you have Firaga Armor being popped here with the last insanity. One more hit will do the trick, but they will have to fall back with Venus backing him up. Yeah, they're gonna peel back once more. Oh no, Zika is Whoa. in trouble. Dalar trying. Does he have his ultimate? Yes, Ooh. he does. Dalar wow. didn't even pop. Uh, he didn't even pop his ultimate to ensure the kill. It's like, nah, I got this. Don't worry, he's low enough. Yeah, and Zika trying again, again, and again. It was pretty close to actually take down the Dilar, but Dilar just by the edge of that fist cracked right there. Won't be able to actually do all too much now. Wise mm -hmm. as well as Venus slowly camping out for a little bit more movements. They're trying to bait members oh. of the Vu as we see no them way. all inside the brush. Ah, oh. they back away and now they're gonna give up uh they're gonna give up the Lord this time round to the side to on a key H because they can't really contest it for the most part. They're chucking it out decently fast but they need to make something happen but Wise is Wise. going to be the gatekeeper here takes his sword spike back 
into Lord. He's going to be A-OK -okay as Dyroth going to be running away, forcing out the flicker. Can't deal with the Padam. Well, very clean movements coming in from Onyx PH, of course. Forcing the Grok back, which gives them a lot more room to just secure that Lord. And speaking of the Grok here, that's going to be Venus as well as Wise. Immediately spawning out and calls in for retreat. Lord's going to be marching down from the bottom side here. And I, I just love how Onyx PH does all these split pushes to actually get so much more uh, advantage out of this game. Yeah, they're getting quite a big lead on their side. And with Lord knocking onto Deus Vault's door, they have to answer this. Like, this is going to be one big team fight. Let's see how this plays out. There we go. This is a little bit of an escort movement coming in from the side of Onyx PH. And Vilar looking for that flank. That Lord's just going to go down before it even touches the tower. And there's no more minutes being left. Maximum charge being landed on Vernon Wise. And here he goes. Sao on the front lines once again, trying to defend that tier 2 mid. But that tier 2 mid will fall. Concentrated energy being fought there for the cushion. Pretty good deal for Deus Fall. Lord goes down, you lose a couple of tier twos. It's like kind of whatever at this point because you're not, you're really waiting for that 40k mark. And by the time that Lord comes back up, you're going to be pretty close to finishing off your last core item. That's right. Speaking of core items right here, we're seeing oh, oh. Sunset with a huge chunk of damage. Blazing Duet connects, but he will fall back, respecting the distance that he just pulled up because the Esmeralda is pretty much close by. And speaking of a little bit of that 1v5 situation, Greed does not even care to invade some of all these enemy territories, especially the jungle. Yeah, and uh, strangely enough, I mean, Cloud could continue to move forward. Esmeralda was very close by. If he took the risk, he might have been able to get the kill, but trade the kill instead. So in his mind, it wasn't really that worth it. Greed loses his Faraga armor. They're going to try and push in to the base. The Shadow Blade Slaughter is chunking them out a little bit, but Sawo, he's clearing up the waves up front, taking a little bit of damage. It's a good payoff, but again, no damage is going through onto that inhibitor. Yeah, it's just going to take a little bit more time as the bottom as well as top side wave is crashing right in. And there goes Sunset committing into this fight here with the Blazing Duet. There's enough shield coming from Esmeralda to tank it through. And they're just going to wait for the next one and the next one. Yeah. And the next. I mean, the Blazing Duet is a good ability, is a great spell, a great ultimate. But Esmeralda just absorbs the shield and just makes it her own. So really, he's not doing as much damage as he wants to. If she didn't have that ability to steal your shield, then I guess she would probably get one shot at this point. But That's true. on a PH, just going to slowly play this game and choke him out. Another 77 more seconds until Lord spawns back up. Agreed. So already having his immortality up. So if they do want to set up uh, another dive coming in, then that will be definitely a little bit more safety net as they manage to take down Sawo into its 30%. And Wise tries to actually to put him out instead. Sawo still alive and not for long as we see Wise, the next one to fall. A little overstep coming in from members of Onyx BH as we see Duzel on the perfect defense. And here comes Sunset with the blazing duet, chunking them out and Green getting out of the battle as well. Koopy's gonna go in for the hunt, and Koopy gets that kill over Valor. One versus one against Zika as well. Dilar on the ton, and he is trying to take down oh, Little Happy. There no. we go! His all got canceled. Sunset is gonna take him out. He's trying to block his all. Does he actually get it? No! He is able to trade a kill. Esmeralda picks up the final hit. They trade. Four for four here, and now it's just Zika versus this Esmeralda and Grok. It's no longer fair as we see the fist crack and fist break already being used out. And of course, with the support coming in from Sao, didn't really need him anyways. I mean, <laughs> the real question is Muda, Muda, Muda? Because <laughs> he just got absolutely demolished with the fist crack and the fist break. Zika is, I mean, he is just huge. Yeah, and I, I don't know, like, Zika, of course, hitting into his late game, playing a little bit more better uh, with those items already up online. Speaking of items here, I uh, would like to check out what Zika already has. Yeah, let's, oh man, he's already f level 15, he's got his ultimate back up, somebody is gonna die. Oh, yeah, I'm not too sure who, but if they get caught out, then shame on them. <laughs> more like, who is willing to walk up to this room, uh, to him? Oh, I mean, Wise, he, he's getting pretty close and Sawa's being the living lord. They're keeping track of it. They know that Lord is going to be the big contestant point, but again, Pod is on buff. Like, both teams want to get the buffs wherever they want to set themselves up perfectly to take up this next fight to create the optimal atmosphere. We're also looking at uh, the Thiroth possibly going in for that sort of push. So if they were not too careful, this vault might just lose 
one tower and have the crystal being wide open up for grabs for Onyx BH. Looks like Badang is going to the back. Oh no, Gashin's in trouble and goes down straight away. Dalar, his push means nothing now. Zika, Zika is just going to sit there like, come on, walk up further. I'm going to go for the full combination here. Well, speaking of combination here, a lot of commitment in oh. towards the mid lane. And whoa, oh, they broke. still get the tower. They're going in for the dive as well. 1v1. Zika for Zillar. Look at the burst. He does not care. He is an immortal. And now it will be Koopy taking out the Valor, farming the fight. But we'll get the back though. Dirov's going in for a flank as well. Now, is he able to actually fend off all four members? Flicker being popped away as well as they are still eyeing on that Lord. Here comes Sao, looking for Greed. Greed still has the armor. It will be popped away. That he cannot run at all. Koopy. My oh my. This is not looking good. Even though they broke an inhibitor, they're kind of struggling. Oh wait, no, Dairok, he's coming back in. While they're doing well, he's going to go back in one more time. Somebody has to offer their life off to Dairok here one more time as Onyx BH is using the Esmeralda to deter them. He's buying a lot of time here. Oh my, the rat coming in from the bottom side does not mean anything at all as they commit to this fight. Looking for Wise as there will be the wall charge stopping him, which means there's only one Dairok living for Onyx. PH, and now they can safely attempt this sort of the Lord attempt. Is, are they going to try this one more time? I, I don't think they've run, they've run out of bodies to kind of throw at Dio's vault at this point. Well, <laughs> I, I think that uh, for the side of Onyx PH, they were definitely uh, biting a whole lot more than they could chew in that sort of sense. And look at that graph now really favoring on the side of Onyx PH. But then again, the the numbers don't really matter by now. They should have all their big items up on both sides. Yeah, they all should have their big items, as you mentioned. But I, I don't know. I think it's pretty even for both sides. Like, it's anybody's game, but Sunset has the better scaling, and he's doing a phenomenal job locking out on a PH because their scaling isn't as hard as a marksman. Like, no matter what no matter what age you're using, it's still pretty difficult. Hmm. Now, I'm, I'm not too sure if on a PH could still find a way to actually close out some of all these uh, sort of areas because this Lord's going to bring them a little bit more of that hassle into it. Uh, defending the top side as well as the bottom side of the tower. They're already giving one tower away over a bot lane to Koopy. So now all eyes are fixed over the mid lane here as Green tries to pull this wave aside. Same goes to Lord getting distracted here as the side of the Goose Vault could not possibly commit to that push anymore. Yeah, but on bottom side, they have a wave. They might be able to break into an inhibitor at the very least because Claude has so much damage. They just need a couple of time. Green coming in with the last insanity. Pops it straight away. He's in trouble now. He's locked down. The immortality is going to keep him back alive. Sawo. Maximum impact. Sawo turns back with a wall charge. Green is still in trouble. The Firaga armor isn't going to break just yet, but they're already in the Happy. back right. Tyrell, he's coming in for the big hit. Blazing duet already being popped. Kimmy is still back alive. Kill me. He's still alive. They're pushing up forward. 3v3. Sawo's in trouble. 1 HP, but he's still alive. And again, Sunset fire. Back. He has the life steal. He life steals off of a minion and now pushes forward the battle mirror image of the rest of the team, kills them off. I think they might have opened up a Whoa. huge hole. They got him. Look at Venus still trying to hang it on for Onyx PH. And by the edge of it all, it's still alive, but there's not longer any sort of base longer for the side of Onyx PH as we are bringing this all the way to game. But of course, it's been uh, pretty hard to actually uh, see how how this box here could possibly be countered up, and it will be that Gunnar heading for the final pick. I, I'm thinking that this is pretty greedy of uh, the officers that they're taking here if they were to lock that in. But wow, two assassins and Look. one great marksman in the table as well. Same with that sort of a Kimi pickup. Well. I'm not too sure. Uh, I, I'm thinking that this is uh, double or nothing coming from the side of Deuce Vault. They, they I... really just want to chunk out damage yeah. output uh, all across. Well, I suppose, but I think they just needed a way to kind of like tell Harry to like just chill for a sec. Just like calm down, sit in the smoke screen, be silent, don't use your abilities. Then we can try and maybe lock you down and hopefully can't catch him off. Well, uh, speaking of a catch off uh, right there for Boxer, he could do the same as well. Just chase all the way in and just knock somebody out in the air and slowly. Or just uh, sit in the smoke screen with the. <laughs> Tor uh, tor tortoise poissons. Uh, tortoise poissons. Tortoise. Tortoise poissons. Uh, 
uh, uh, like uh, we, we just <laughs> wish it's easier for, to pronounce in this sort of way. Like I just love pronouncing it that way. It just sounds so. It's just so. It sounds so obnoxious. It's obnoxious, but it has a touch of class as well. Mm. <laughs> just just a little bit. <laughs> but yeah, this is coming into the final game here. We're gonna be getting into the game. This is going to be Onyx BH against Juice Vault Esports in their final bout of the day. You know, I'm actually favoring the style of Onyx for only one reason. Like, uh, when when Boxia actually goes on the roll, it looks like as if he's a hedgehog. So that's what uh, Onyx is uh, actually having for their logo. They're going to rebrand Onyx <laughs> to just be Boxia in that form. <laughs> well, oh, my goodness. Might happen someday, not anytime soon, though. Little happy, uh, getting a little bit of a tickle over the mid side here as they slowly go in for that raid in the jungle. Lar on the chill here, already facing off against Sunset, but it's going to be pretty, pretty easy for him to actually hop back with Battle and Mirror Image coming up online later on. So here we go. A little bit of that raid in the jungle as we speak of it, as Vilar uh, has no business to do right here. I and well, what is going on? Okay, so here's my thoughts. Deal's fault. They're like, all right, you know what? We're going to go as a five man, sacrifice one wave down to bot side because we don't want Zika to get damaged, get too uh, hurt. But he needs to sit around to get the EXP. They're going to give up this tier oh, two no. here. Greed. Greed, he's looking for him. He's spinning around. He's like, where are you? I'm going to find you this time around. And now the rest of the team, they lose their tire at one minute into the game. There's only one other game I know that the exact same thing happened. But again, I don't think this is the right call. Well, I, I think that Onyx definitely did something that's really great. Though they do lose a little bit of those levels, but they open up the map, which means that they will not be caught out all too much by all these assassins of this ball. Yeah, uh, again, Greed is just going to hop around for the most part. It's kind of a uh, leash for the rest of the team. I just kind of want to see how this Natalia is trying to come back into this game. He is level 3. He's Turtle lacking a lot of soon. farm. Yeah, like uh, eventually we're going to see members of Deuce Ball here, of course, hitting that early level 4. Uh, oh, like 4 can do. has already uh, got himself the ult. But of course, Sunset is just so slowly taking their time. Just having a little bit of 1v1. Yep. I don't think that in any sort of a given uh, opportunity, Sunset even dive head first to actually try to fight against the Cho. Yeah, and now they're, I mean, they're kind of contesting down on bot side here. Cho should be able to have first rotation, but he gets locked down. Zika Ooh. is going to be locked. He can't get out. Again, a smoke screen. Great way of trying to get out, but the moment he times out or he walks away, he gets chunked out. Well played. A great catch for Oh My Venus. Now, for the side of this, well, they're also trying to actually fight for this uh, turtle, but instead they look upon wise. They might just be the wall charge coming in. Well, maximum sorry, impact. it's not. Yep, Ooh. maximum impact instead. A uh, slip of the tongue here, but it's going to be a little happy, of course. Open up the righteous pathway with Delar coming from the back, and he's trying to set up the way of the dragon, but does not be able to do so. Yeah, I agreed. Again, coming in, making sure that he's just controlling the space all the time to his fault, isn't able to re engage this time round, and Turtle has, again, under the contestant from both sides. Now, Sunset getting oh, kicked, and that will be the way of Dragon. Yep, pretty much a done deal for him, and great calculations coming from the show. Yeah, great calculations overall. This time, I, I, I'm surprised when shows don't take uh, high and dry in most situations. Like previously, we did see, uh, we did see uh, Onzika himself playing the chill with the killing spree, which to me was extreme, uh, an extremely interesting way to play the emblem because you're not gonna have that extra damage in the one v one. But you know, when you get multiple kills with the Jacundo, oh yeah, or so happen to auto someone with with a blade of despair, it's pretty tough. It stacks a whole lot in that sort of sense, and of course. You gotta think like a Kung Fu fighter and you can just uh, beat down any opponents in your hands. Oh. And, well, Weiss almost getting taken down by Sunset, but there is the Lar to actually help him up. Not for Zika though. Time after time we're seeing the Natal getting taken down. Same goes to Cho. Great rotations from Deuce Vault to punish the moving a target right there. And now we're looking at a little bit of that 50-50 uh, sort of traits and greed already getting spotted by a little happy. Yeah, and he's peeling backwards. Lil Happy, he already has the Brink of Punishment. He's like, nah, 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 nah. You're not going to get anywhere this way. Stay all the way back. They break mid-tier one, and the rest of Onyx uh, Deus Vault is going to be moving on. Yeah, the only item that we see <laughs> that's pretty huge uh, for now will be Onyx uh, with Li Fork getting the Ogre come out. And, well, 
course, no major items have been actually being brought out yet. A little bit of uh, movements all across both sides being a little bit more <laughs> common composed as compared to game one as well as game yeah, two. Yeah, agreed. I think both of them turned... Oh! oh. A, a very flashy Frost. play here. Flickers forward, tries to look for a catch, doesn't get vision, so he doesn't land anything. No Divine Judgment at all. Forced to walk away. Bomb side though, we're looking at Greed here, just uh, giving a little bit of chase here. Venus, oh my, that's a great element there to actually bring little Happy down, but he's still surviving and <laughs> flop for long. Sawo, the next one on the list. As we see, the Abyssal Arrow does not connect, and you now it's going to be LY for Kanu taking down Koopy with one last auto attack. Auto attack and auto attack. Oh, that was so brutal. He waited there just like, oh, Blazing the Wet, no problem. Keep going, no worries, no worries. And then, as he thinks he's safe, walks out. Oh no, out of the brush comes carry. Oh, nasty. <laughs> like, look at Onyx creation. That was so clean. Like, they, they just, all they have to do is just crash right in. Boxia knows what what's up. And the rest of the team just fall up. It's as simple as that. But I'm not looking at any sort of members from Deuce Bolt to be able to provide any cover for Lil Happy. Yep, and now they're pulling backwards again. Onik is just trying to starve them out of the jungle. Tier 1, they're pushed out of Tier 1. They can't really do much. It's Diamond Force being Pop Sunset forcing, uh, for having to use that Battle Mirror image to get out of there because if he stays any longer, he's just dead. Oh, yeah. He could have been caught out right there. Live Despair being purchased by Koopy. So that's going to be one great uh, charge heading towards the side of Greed as we see Sawul falling a little bit backwards. Greed now slowly regrouping with the rest from the back. There's no more to be done over on the top side, except for the Chow as we see Delara slowly uh, just farming up. And well, there's just a lot of open space in the jungle for them to actually play around here as Venus still hoping to land a perfect Divine Judgment to possibly set the tempo up for the carry. Yeah, and I mean, both sides carry is really huge right now. She's got four kills. Ooh, five kills this time round. <laughs> Getting a kill off of Sunset. Sunset is just falling behind, and the Golden Snap has been bought. This is a big boy item. <laughs> That's just when you were just counting your fingers right there. He just adds one more right through, and a little happy just walking uh, solid into a trap. And now having a little bit of protection coming from QP as well to just give them a little bit more respect. Uh -oh. Uh -oh. But look at Zika. This might just be a perfect kill as we see Selena just bursting them down. Yeah, that Abyssal Arrow, he was stunned for so long. He just sat there and he was just like, please, God, let me get out of this. <laughs> well, just end me now. End me right now. End my suffering. <laughs> <laughs> as the rest of Onyx Esports just continue their onslaught, trying to, like, you know, keep the lead. 4K ahead of Deus Vault. They should be able... Ooh, Feather being bought by Wise helps Channel the Mystery Shop as well, making soon. everything so much cheaper. Greed just rolling around, trying to decide some being, keeping vision, keeping information to deny space for Deus Ball to get anywhere close to the turtle. Well, there's going to be the turtle for the guy with turtle poissons, as we see. Oh my, Venus going oh, in for no. the divine judgment. Real crystal clear ultimate, as we see one more fall from this fall. Oh boy, I know. Oh, he dodges just out of the way. He doesn't get clipped this time. Sunset just finally purchasing his big boy item of the Golden Staff. He's going to have a lot more damage than before. Hopefully, that's going to be enough to turn this, the tide to the fight. Oh, over in top side, though. Wise is walking in towards the wrong direction. As we see Zika going with the first. And that will be that kill in the hands of Zika. As we see Greed being a little bit late to the party. All you have to do is just keep rolling, baby. <laughs> okay, let that one slide for now. But now Green, he's taking a little too much damage here. He has to pop the revitalize. The turquoise Titan keeps him alive. They just can't really do anything to him, denying the healing plus the revitalize. It's just so frustrating that Green, with his greedy play, still survives. Uh, I, I, I don't know, like, Green just plays it off without a single care at all, but Venus here. Already having a lot of HP being taken out. That will be mid lane being opened by the law. Double, trying to double lock down him with the law and order. Uh, doesn't really get too much when you don't have the damage here. Oh, wow. That was just one auto attack. Well, <laughs> imagine if there's going to be more connecting as we have uh, the top lane also being uh, taken out by the rest of the members of Onyx uh, Philippines. And we are already seeing a little bit more of those cleaner plays coming into play. And for 
Onyx Esports here. They're just waiting for the right opportunity to crash right in. Yeah, and we can already see that. I mean, Harif it, it, it just bought his concentrated energy, and he's willing to fight. He can sustain through all the damage, pop, forcing the pop out, uh, pop uh, the Zaman Force to get another reset of that More Chrono Dash to get out of the way. Soon. But again, he's got to be super, super careful. Yeah, and uh, for Venus, if he ever gets a catch, there's not going to be any follow-up. So he's treading on in lines. There's going to be a Lord up online. Oh, do they bite the bait here? Maybe they might just actually go for it. Like, as we can see, over on the bottom side, can we alongside with Clark? Already trying to take down some of all these minions marching towards the bottom side. And now, maybe Dave Knight does need a tank to come in, but it's a too little too late. Onyx Philippines will be able to snatch the Lord. I think just almost willing to give it up. It's like, all right, it's fine, it's fine. You can take it away. We're not going to risk the potential of sticking our noses out and getting caught by Oh My Venus again. Yeah, and after all, it's just the first Lord, and my! Perfect catch onto the Harrod as Wise goes down for the third time. That was a that was just a great snipe coming in from Fidel's Vault. Like, man, Harith was just stuck there. Oh, I, I don't even know if he even had even time to respond. If he just blinked an eye right there, he's dead. And yep, right now on a playing with four members uh, without Wise, it's gonna be a fine judgment taking it. Four versus four. Zika already on position to actually flank. That Lord's just gonna be hitting it like a truck as Rice just copy has been opened up. There goes the flank coming from Zika as well, trying to take down Green, and Green will fall for the first time in a long while. They were standing under that turret for so, so long. They trade one for two there in favor of Onyx PH, but let's see how they kind of play this out. Like, all right, sure, you got those two kills, but you can't really net anything, and they're dragging the game like they did previously, where they just needed to close it out. Yeah, another wings being purchased here, and I, I felt like the only way that they could close this one cleanly is that the Chao sets things up instead of Greed starting off the fight first, because Spaxia is really easy to predict some of all these movements coming out. But if you were to have that flicker with the dragon to actually start things off and Venus to come in much later, then maybe it'll be a better catch from there. Yeah, it's about, it's honestly fishing for both sides here. Can Oh My Venus get a catch, or is it potential? Is it possible for Sawa to land a great abyssal arrow? So yeah, he he looks for these angles and flanks, but can he actually get them? Oh, good damage here. He pops down the smoke screen as well, just to kind of not allow himself to get hit by that divine uh, that divine judgment. Yeah, uh, that's definitely. Definitely a great uh, distance being created right there. While looking at Venus here, haven't really dropped a single time at all. Really clean movements coming from LY4 can do as well. Well, for Lil Happy, he's already got that immortality, so he can also slowly tank up the front lines. Lark can spot it out, and here comes Boxia. Gets a good hit onto Lil Happy here, but Backline is in trouble! They get a good catch onto QP, but he uses the chemical refinement to get into Backline. Lil Happy trying to survive. He's a little bit more, but they can't finish him off. What a play coming in from Onyx PH. Wow, loving how they actually catch people off. Speaking of a catcher, Zika has been the biggest fish to be out of the ocean. I mean, they baited it. Uh, honestly, the flicker, everything. Uh, uh, the lightning dash as well, dropping the lightning bombs. Like, oh my goodness, great play coming in from Oh My Venus. Very close to actually accomplishing it, but again, just not enough with the help of Dia's fall. Oh, another one! They snag a free kill onto Lil Happy, breaking the immortality. He goes down. Topside's in trouble as Onyx want to end this game now. There we go, Onyx. The Philippines, they are going in for that double kill on the carry. And now it's green light to go. And they will slowly close out the game. And Sunset does not have the blazing duet to do anything at all. Here we go, Onyx Philippines will take the series.